Welcome to the presentation, Reviewing Hand Hygiene for Child Care Workers. This presentation will last about 13 minutes. Clean hands protect both you and those around you. This includes fellow child care staff, children, and parents. Researchers estimate that if everyone routinely washed their hands, one million deaths a year could be prevented. This is because a typical person's hand can contain millions of germs. Removing or killing these germs from your hands reduces the spread of potentially infectious germs to surfaces and other people. After this presentation, you will be able to understand the importance of hand hygiene in child care facilities. Identify key times to perform hand hygiene. Understand the process of washing hands with soap and water. Understand the process of cleaning hands with hand sanitizer, and you'll be able to construct hand hygiene learning activities for children. Throughout this presentation, there will be discussion prompts. If you are in a group setting, please pause the video and take time to discuss the prompt. If you are viewing this alone, grab a pen and paper. Pause the video at each prompt and write down your thoughts and answers. What are the barriers you face in getting children to wash their hands? Remember to pause the video at each prompt. Hand hygiene is the most important way to reduce the spread of infection. Many studies have shown that unclean or improperly clean hands are the primary carriers of infection. Deficiencies in hand hygiene have contributed to many outbreaks of diarrhea and respiratory tract diseases among children and caregivers in child care centers. To reduce disease transmission in child care settings, ensure that staff and children are performing hand hygiene properly and integrate hand hygiene education into curriculum. Your hands are a vehicle for germs. Germs can spread from person to person or from surfaces to people when you touch your eyes, nose, and mouth with unwashed hands, prepare or eat food and drinks with unwashed hands, touch surfaces or objects that have germs on them, and when you blow your nose, cough or sneeze into hands and then touch other people's hands or common objects. It is just as important for staff to wash their hands as it is children. An effort from everyone inside a child care facility reduces the number of germs on toys, food, surfaces, and hands. What situations in the classroom environment require hand washing? I'm sure you are able to identify one or more situations that require hand washing in the classroom. Hand washing should be performed before and after preparing food or beverages, eating, handling food, or feeding a child, giving medication or applying a medical ointment or cream in which a break in the skin may be encountered, playing in water, including swimming, that is used by more than one person, diapering, and when children require assistance with brushing teeth. Teachers should wash their hands thoroughly between brushings for each child. Hand washing should be performed after using the toilet or helping a child use the toilet, handling body fluid, including mucus, blood, or vomit, handling animals or cleaning up animal waste, playing in sand on wooden play sets or outdoors, cleaning or handling garbage, or after applying sunscreen and or insect repellent. Be sure that staff wash their hands on arrival for the day, after breaks, and when moving from one child care group to another. How well do you wash your hands? The image on this slide shows areas of the hand that are frequently missed during the application of alcohol-based hand sanitizer and when washing hands with soap and water. The CDC recommends following these five steps for effective hand washing. Wet your hands with clean, running water, warm or cold, turn off the tap and apply soap. Lather your hands by rubbing them together with the soap. Lather the backs of your hands, between your fingers, and under your nails. Scrub your hands for at least 20 seconds. Rinse your hands well under clean, running water. And lastly, dry your hands using a clean towel. Washing hands with soap and water is the best way to get rid of germs in most situations. If soap and water are not readily available, you can use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. 
You can tell if the sanitizer contains at least 60% alcohol by looking at the product label. Sanitizers can quickly reduce the number of germs on hands in many situations. However, it's important to know that hand sanitizers do not get rid of all types of germs. They may not be as effective when hands are visibly dirty or greasy, and they might not remove harmful chemicals like pesticides from hands. Did you know there's a process for using hand sanitizer? These seven steps will help make sure you cover all areas of your hands. First, apply a palmful of the product in a cupped hand. Rub hands palm to palm. Right palm over left with interlaced fingers and vice versa. Then palm to palm with fingers interlaced. Backs of fingers to opposing palms with fingers interlocked. Rotationally rub the left thumb clasped in the right palm and vice versa. Rotationally rub backwards and forwards with clasped fingers of right hand and left palm and vice versa. And once dry, your hands are safe. Consider how much time of the daily routine in your classroom is spent during transitions, especially when hand washing is required. Are children engaged in transitions or does it feel a little chaotic? Challenging behaviors can often occur during transitions, making it frustrating for teachers. Children need support during transitions and they need structured routines. By providing consistency in transitions, children know what to expect and the routine runs smoother. Effective transitions require planning ahead. Tips for effective hand washing are to identify transitions that require hand washing in your daily routine. Plan for these transitions. What teachers will be in the classroom? Communicate plans with other teachers. What songs or activities will you use to keep children engaged? Share expectations before the transition. Provide children a warning before transitions begin. Talk about hand washing throughout the day. Model appropriate hand washing throughout the day. How do you currently teach children to wash their hands? Create developmentally appropriate learning opportunities to discuss the importance of proper hygiene and hand washing procedures. Here's a list of examples. Develop an age appropriate sequencing activity about the hand washing process. Engage children in the process of creating classroom books and posters through meaningful discussion. Take photos of the children engaging in hand washing to include in education, such as class books and posters. Use visible examples to demonstrate removing germs, such as using glitter or paint. These activities are especially helpful to show the areas of the hands that are often missed. Model appropriate hand washing throughout the day. Narrate what you are doing and why throughout the process. Choose or create a 20 second song to sing with children during hand washing. This helps them understand the length of time they need to wash for. Engage in group discussions. Ask questions like, what are germs? How can you help yourself stay healthy? How do you wash your hands? And when is it important to wash your hands? The next slides will display examples of hand washing educational tools. You have to scrub your hands well if you want to wash away the germs, because they like to hide. I'm liking these hands. You're right, buddy. There's lots of great places to hide. You hide under the nails, I'll hide between the fingers. <laughs> First, turn on the tap and wet your hands. Warm water works best. Use plain liquid soap. Scrub your palms together, then the backs of your hands. Your thumbs, most people forget to wash them, you know between your fingers. Then scrub your knuckles to clean your cuticles. That's the part of your skin that's closest to your fingernail. And your fingertips to clean under your nails. Then your wrists. You should scrub for at least 15 seconds before rinsing off the soap. Then dry your hands well with a paper towel. Don't forget to use a paper towel to turn off the taps and open the door. Otherwise, you'll just get germs from the handles on your hands again. I can't see. Help! I can't see. 
I guess washing your hands properly isn't all that tough. And I would rather wash my hands than get sick anyway. I hate being sick. Okay, smarty pants. What about when there's no sink? When you don't have soap and water to wash off the germs, you can use hand sanitizer to kill them. These examples of books and posters use images of children and staff from the child care facility. This is a great way to engage the children, create relatable education, and encourage fun with learning. We've reached our final discussion prompts. Please take a moment to discuss or write down your answers. How comfortable are you with creating materials such as books and posters to be used by children in your care? What resources do you have for creating learning materials? What resources would you like to create? Let's end this presentation with four frequently asked questions. Pay attention. These questions will likely be asked by the children or staff in your facility. Do I really need to wash my hands for 20 seconds? Scientific studies show that you need to scrub for 20 seconds to remove harmful germs and chemicals from your hands. If you wash for a shorter time, you will not remove as many germs. Make sure to scrub all areas of your hands, including your palms, backs of your hands, between your fingers, and under your fingernails. Is antibacterial soap better than plain soap? Use plain soap and water to wash your hands. Studies have not found any added benefit from using antibacterial soap, other than for healthcare workers. Is it better to use warm water or cold water? Use your preferred water temperature, cold or warm, to wash your hands. Warm and cold water remove the same number of germs. The water helps create soap lather that removes the germs from your skin when you wash your hands. What supplies do I need for hand washing? Ensure that you have easily accessible sinks, clean running water, soap, and a way to dry your hands, such as paper towels or a hand dryer. Thank you for your time. For additional infection control information or support, please contact the Idaho Healthcare Associated Infections Program. The next two slides will list curriculum and video resources for teaching hand hygiene in child care facilities. To access the PDF version of this presentation, please visit the HAI program website displayed on this slide.